Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. You know gold is valuable when you see this. And actually, I'm not just talking about this. And I'm not just talking about that. But I'm also not talking about this. To find out what I'm talking about, let's explore! Indeed, gold is beautiful. There's no question about it. It does not react, and it provides a lot of uses in society, although it is very rare. So it's not very practical to use gold in different applications when there's other materials that are less expensive, even if they aren't quite as efficient. But regardless, we know that gold is valuable and has been for the, stood the test of time. But it's getting to the point now where they're really trying to get a whole lot of it out of the ground and in other ways too, because gold is rare and it is valuable. That's exactly what is going on with the Royal Mint because the Royal Mint is actually participating in an effort to uh, recycle gold. And a major mint is actually looking to recycle gold and recovering gold from discarded electronics. And it's quite the process. In this article here from the Washington Post, as was shared with me by Doctor Who, let's take a look and see what it's about. Britain's Royal Mint plans to start recycling at scale discarded cell phones and laptops to extract precious metals, including gold and silver, embedded within. Small quantities of precious metals are embedded and circuit boards, and other electronic hardware that are part of a growing pile of gadgets cast away globally each year. A record 53.6 million tons of electronic waste was generated worldwide in 2019, according to the United Nations. Less than 20% of that waste was recycled, resulting in around $57 billion worth of precious metals being thrown away. The Royal Mint, which has been making coins in Britain for some 1,100 years, announced Wednesday it is partnering with a Canadian startup called Exire, which says it can chemically extract the metals. Pretty amazing indeed to be able to extract metals, especially when there's about um, $57 billion worth of precious metals being thrown away. Uh, Instead of electronic waste leaving Britain's shores to be processed at high temperatures in continental European smelters, the precious metals will be recovered at room temperature at a Royal Mint site in South Wales. Talk about saving energy. You don't have to heat it up in order to extract it. This is from what a Mint spokeswoman said. She described the process as more environmentally friendly because it avoids the ecological impact of burning or smelting. Well, not only that, but just saving energy overall. The cost involved is very much a great concern. Scientists and engineers at the state-owned company are already using the process at small scale with plans to grow the technology to mass production, the men said. On its website, Exire said its technology could recover 99% of gold from electronic waste in a matter of seconds. That is impressive. The company recently received about $4.3 million in financial support from a Canadian government-affiliated foundation that funds clean technology. Britain's exit from the European Union is prompting the country to look for ways to recycle more waste locally. The country's recyclers have been sending printed circuit boards to continental Europe, but expect such costs to increase with Brexit, the Guardian newspaper previously reported. Industry proponents see huge potential in mining old electronics for precious metals, especially as gold prices soar. There's a hundred times as much gold in a ton of cell phones than in a ton of gold ore. That's pretty amazing, astounding figure. This is according to a 2019 report 
by the World Economic Forum. At current prices, one ounce of gold is worth $1,750 on average. The potential of this technology is huge, reducing the impact of electronic waste, preserving precious commodities, and forging new skills, which help drive a circular economy. And Jessup, the Royal Mint's chief executive, said in a statement, The bigger story here may not necessarily be with gold, but with silver, especially if you uh, consider how much silver is used compared to gold in these electronic devices. Exire isn't the only startup working on sustainable extraction techniques. New Zealand-based Mint Innovation raised funds last year to build plants in Australia and England where a plan to use the microbes and inexpensive chemicals to recover precious metals from crushed and padded electronic waste. It's too bad that America isn't leading the effort here because we certainly could recycle a lot of this material and add to our reserves uh, for sure. We're not adding a single ounce to our reserves. At least last time I checked, we're not. Some scientists have questioned just how sustainable and environmentally neutral the mining of precious metals from electronic, from electronic waste is. However, given it often involves the use of acids, certainly there is a chemical process here, and that should be something uh, that should be considered and weighed. Exire said the medium it uses to extract the precious metals is an extremely mild and eco-friendly solution that can be recycled with negligible environmental impact. Well, it's not just the environment uh, around us as far as um, toxic to the environment, but also breathing the air uh, where these chemicals are done, the immediate uh, work environment to the workers who are there that are subjecting the um, circuit boards and electronics to this solution. But very interesting indeed if it's safe and effective. And, well, hey... I'm all for it. I think it's amazing to see the technology do what it's doing, and I think this could have wide-reaching effects. The fact that a major mint has contracted with this company, um, I think is quite promising uh, indeed, and it goes to show you that, uh, as I predicted all along, both gold and silver never disappear. They may be consumed, but they can be recovered. As long as it's economically viable to do so and the technology exists for that to take place. This is an example of it being proven and how it is going to start to be work, worked out very, very soon to be able to extract these metals. And, of course, that is going to obviously have an effect on the price, one or the other. It's so very, very interesting indeed. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below about the story. I want to thank uh, Dr. Who again for sending this along to me. And I want to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all uh, for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoy stories like this, I would encourage you to check out other videos that I've done on the channel. I do like to cover a wide variety of topics with regards to precious metals. And this is just another example of a story like that. So a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch. And to encourage you to please rate share, comment, and subscribe.